Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here. Thank you for joining me or rejoining me for this part two of the childhood collection reveal. That's right, got this childhood collection. If you've seen part one, you've seen all of these cars revealed one at a time. And in this part two, we will finish revealing 24 cars out of a case that's over there and a few cars out of here. And let's get started without further ado on the collection reveal. Oh, Look at that. Right out of the gate, we're starting with something fantastic, and that is a custom AMX, this time in purple. Looks like it could need a wheel swap there. These wheels are the hub-style wheels, which pull off easily and can be swapped with any other hub-style wheel car, which reminds me, of course, those are Hong Kong wheels. That's the problem with these U.S. cars. These U.S. wheels are much harder to acquire than the Hong Kong variation. Now, this is odd because... These are, these are definitely U.S. wheels on this side. On this side, the ones that are bad, they look like Hong Kong wheels. With the, uh, They're more defined and chromier. U.S. ones uh, look hand-painted. And there you go. You know, back in the early days of Hot Wheels collecting red lines, people used to take touch-up paint and touch up the dots on the center of those. And you can see some of those cars in some collections. I saw a collection recently that had tons of that. In the collection so I wasn't sure if the cars were good or not you never know when things have happened to them next car up is the grasshopper grasshopper in light green I love the grasshopper in light green and this one is actually in good shape very good shape take the top off there to get a good look at the grasshopper in light green look at that two motors on that all metal what a fabulous car what a fabulous looking car you put the top back on and you got a beautiful grasshopper in the light green that's a great color for the grasshopper really like that haven't seen any pins in this collection yet let's see what's up here all right next one is a python python now we're down to only needing one car to finish our original 16 in this collection this one in antifreeze python antifreeze us black top not bad not bad, not great. We'll put it right here. Let's see, is it Python? No, Ford J car, and then Python. Look at that. We're going to get an original 16 set right out of this lot. And here's a big old car. What is that? That's a big one. I think it's a Rolls Royce in red. And what's this? Another dragster. And this nice box. Let's put that to the side. We got a whoop, dragster right there. Dragster white with the original decal or sticker on the front that's good non -ma matching though oh yeah they're matching both of these have the black wheel some of them are clear this one is the rolls royce in red and this one is a nice one this one is a nice one and this rolls royce has the hub style wheels and like i was saying that like this car has beautiful wheels on at least a couple of them they would look a lot better on this Rolls Royce, which is nearly mint condition, just got really no wear on it to speak of. Just has that corrosion from being exposed to warm and dry, warm and uh, wet climates from time to time, getting damp and drying out and damp and drying out. This one has an amazing cl like clear coat on it, beautiful, and it is all original. It's not this is not a redo. This is the real McCoy, and that car really is nice with a white interior. That's going to look great in the showcase. That is a beauty. Better than a gray, that's for sure. And that's one of the good cars out of the lot. Now I'm going to open up the case with 24 cars in it. I'm going to set that over the side here out of the way. Opening the case now. Snapping the top. Yep, 24 cars in there. Look at that. One at a time. We get to open them. How exciting. Have you ever bought a childhood collection site unseen? Well, pictures only. It's it's pretty fun. Here's a twin mill in green, green with a dark interior. Now you know one of the hardest uh the one of the hardest tires to acquire extras of is this US medium. That is by far the hardest tire to get good ones if you're missing. The funny thing is though is this big one is very easy. I've got a bunch of those accumulated extra good tires. But that medium fronts never get enough of those and there's a twin mill and has some of those nice tires on it. Okay. Twin wheel becomes a wheel donor occasionally. A wheel donor means you take the good wheels off of it and put it on a much better car. Okay, here we got a Shelby Turbine. Shelby Turbine, about average condition for a childhood car. We'll put her over here on the race car hauler. Oh, we got a splitting image coming out of the gate now. 
splitting image in blue. Oh, wow. This one is a very, very bright, like a stellar blue. Very nice. Very nice. Really hard to collect the, the splitting image with a chromey base because, you know, the chrome just doesn't hold up over the years. But that is a splitting image, and she's in nice shape. Nice shape. Some of these original 16s are really hard uh, color variations to find. Wish they were all mint, but you know, you can't have everything. Next up is Boss Haas Chrome Silver Special. The Boss Haas Silver Special. The Mail Away Club Car also was available in a box set. In a very interesting box set. I don't know where the box set was sold. Was it sold in a catalog? I don't know. Maybe it was. Was it sold in the store? Don't know. Next one up is, what is this? Turbo Fire? Yeah, Turbo Fire in red. A brilliant red. Again, this has got a really nice red to it. Very nice red. Weird tire there. Very, very nice red color. That's nice and bright. That's a bright red. I like the red ones. I like the green ones, the blue ones, the red ones, the pink ones, the purple ones. All of them, really. All right, next up is... Ah, King Kuda blue with white interior. I think one of the things that attracted me to this collection is there was a good assortment of spoilers. Spoilers are so popular. Of course, the first car that sells out of any collection I get typically is the heavy Chevy. Heavy Chevy is so popular. Oh, look at that. Beautiful orange on there. Really nice orange. Really is nice. But a lot of wear, but a good car. Good car, definitely orange, nitty gritty kitty. Wish it was mint, but you know, once in a while I get a mint one. Buy enough car collections, you find some mint cars here and there. Oh, look at that. Heavy Chevy in red, this one's a beauty. Look at that. Almost looks like over chrome, but I don't think it is. But it is very bright, very, very bright. Look at that. Yeah, if it was over chrome, you'd be able to see at least a little shine out of those uh, chipped areas. But it is very bright. That's a pretty red heavy Chevy. Yeah, that's a pretty one. That's one of the good ones. That's one of the home runs in the collection of all these cars. And the next one's an Indy car or Grand Prix. I always want to call them Indy cars. Ah, look at that Brabham. That's a nice Brabham. Nice and bright red. Again, another good bright red. Motors are intact. That's a good thing. And let's see, that'll look good over here. I'll put that on the racer rig. Oh, I think the blue one looked better. I was just going to set up a collection of racer rigs where I had uh, a blue cab with a blue car and a red cab with a red car and a green cab with a green car. I think I still should try that. How about a light green? You could get a light green. It's only like one in, oh, the Grand Prix cars, open wheel racers that you can get in light green, right? The Shelby turbine. Is it the Shelby? Yeah. Light green. Here we got the Indy Eagle in green. Indy Eagle in green. Nice tires, nice pipes. Pretty good little car. Not as popular as some of the other cars, but nevertheless, quite collectible. Very collectible. What's this? Oh, look at this. It's a Torero in bright lime. Bright lime as opposed to antifreeze. Bright lime. Antifreeze. Can you tell the difference there? One's sort of a milky, one is more bright. And, uh, it is a bright lime. Too bad this one's not mint, because this is a beautiful, the Torero is a beautiful car in the right condition. It really is. Torero, Turbo Fire, Split and Image, Twin Mill, all beauties, given the right collection, the right condition. Here we got an orange Woody Wagon, a very pale orange. Looks like it got only about half the paint that it was supposed to get, and it survived in the pale orange with the brown interior smooth top on this woody wagon woody wagon woody wagon woody wagon what's next oh could this be a vicky yes it is a vicky and it's a pale red but bright a bright can it be bright and pale all at the same time yes it can why not there's some interesting colors in this collection for sure and this one is a bright pale red very nice i wish that was mint that would be a cool one but it can't all be mint can they it's been a long time these things are old that means oh dear that means if these things are old and i'm 10 years older than the oldest high wheel what does that mean oh dear 
Oh dear. Well, well, enjoy it while you got it. Here it is. The next one up is a Light My Firebird. Light it in my Firebird. Yeah, nice blue, a little corrosion on the motor there. Can you see it? Corrosion. And on the base. But it's a nice car. What the heck? And it's a spoiler. Let's put it over here in the corner. Yeah, the extra Barracuda right over there. Look at that. Look at all those cars. They're just piling up and piling up. What's this on the... Hmm. What is this on the... I found something on the table here. It's a little plastic piece. Oh, you know what that is? That's a broken piece of a Chaparral spoiler. And that reminds me... Oh, wow. Hey, check this out. It's a Lola GT70 in red and... Not red enamel. It's in red Spectre Flame. It's got a little hair on it. A little dog hair. It's got all the decals or the stickers on it. Nice wheels. Kind of a neat little car. Kind of neat. It's hard to find the red Spectre Flame on the Lola GT. You just find uh, green enamels mostly. And what's next? What's next? I 36 Ford Cube. Oh my goodness. That's one of the worst toning jobs I've ever seen. Huh? Look at that. Tiger Tone right there. Leopard Skin. Yep, yep. And it's sad, too, because this car has uh, no, it's a little tiny chip right there, but really, it's got no wear to it, but it looks terrible. Oh, dear. Now look at that. That's kind of sad, isn't it? 36 Ford Coupe. Very popular model. Very popular. What's next? Ford J car finally rounding out the original 16 with a gold Ford J car. All stickers on it. Decided to put the those rocker stickers up there. I've seen that a few times. In the gold. And that completes the original 16 series right there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Original 16. It's always cool when you get a collection that has all the original 16 in it. And the next one is a Nomad, a classic Nomad in purple. All right, that's one of the cars that I classified as good to go. Needs a wheel up front there. Needs a wheel here and here, and the other side's not so bad, but with a good wheel swap, it's actually a real nice purple car with a little bit of dull, dull base, but most people don't care about the dull base. Unless you have lots of cars to choose from, you'd better not think too much about that because they are so hard to get. And the next one up is McLaren. McLaren. This one with good wheels all around and a lot of the toning. As you can see, moisture damage had gotten to these cars at some point or at many points during their lifestyle. Let's see, what do we have left? We have only three cars left. And is any one of them another great car? Uh, not really. No, they're just written down to the end there and just kind of a few more cars. Oh, Ford Mark IV. Ford Mark IV. Nothing exciting there. Ford Mark IV. Although, you know, this red enamel is very common. If you find a perfect one with the stripes exactly put on perfectly, it really is fabulous looking. But you don't see that very often. It's hard to get excited about stuff you don't see very often. And Chaparral. Chaparral. Oh, look at that. It's a green Chaparral with a broken spoiler. But it is the original spoiler. You could glue that back together. You got the green Chaparral US opening. Oh, is it very opening, actually. Opens all the way on this back end. All right. Green. Had one thing nice about the Chaparral. It does have four medium wheels on it so if you need medium wheels you can always pull those off because this chaparral can go out the door with the reproduction wheels on it we put these on another car somewhere else and that's good to go and one last car in this collection before we wrap it up and review it and it is another ford j car this time in green the green ford j car we had the gold Ford J car. Sometimes there's some differences in this Ford J car. Is these? No, nope, these two are both the same, it looks like. Yep, US Ford J cars. One green and one in the gold. Another car with four medium wheels on it. Very nice. And the Ford J car. This one has a black interior. This one has a brown interior. I think those are the two variations. Not sure. I'd have to look that up in the informational books that are available for Hot Wheels. There's so many of those good books for Hot Wheels. So there it is, folks. 
another childhood collection. A lot of cars. Let's uh, get off the camera stand here and, and uh, take a close look. All right, taking a final look at the collection. Look at that. We've got a lot of Grand Prix cars. We've got the McLaren. We've got the Lola GT70. you got the Shelby Turbine over there. you got the Chaparral over there. you got the Brabham, the Ford Mark IV, the Indy Eagle, and the Lotus Turbine. I think that's all of the Grand Prix cars, isn't it? Just off the top of my head. We've got from 69, we've got that wonderful Maserati Mistral. And you've got that funky, funky 36 Ford Coupe. you got the... Super right. I wish you could see it exactly the way I'm seeing it here. That the Vicky is super light on the red color. Too bad it has all those chips on there. Next to it, the Grasshopper, and then the Woody Wagon, a '69. The Grasshopper being a, a '70. Is it '70 or '71? You know, the Grasshopper and the Power Pad. I always get those two mixed up as their years. I got them backwards. Police Cruiser, Five Chief Cruiser, the School Bus is a real nice one. You got a couple of Torero. You got the Torero and Turbo Fire as well over here. You got the Twin Mill and Splitting Image, the Rolls Royce in red. Look at that AMX purple, the green Charger red Maserati. I'm saying Mercedes. Wow, man, I have been talking too much. I make. I'm over a half hour of talking right now. I'm starting to lose it. Starting to lose it. There is the custom Volkswagen VW antifreeze. Look at those spots. My goodness. What happened to this Mustang? Wow, what happened to that Mustang? Hmm. How do you get that much paint off a car anyway? Put in a rock tumbler. Orange on the custom Continental. The blue custom Barracuda. And over there, the... Heavy Chevy in the spoiler series. Look at that. King Cuda, Heavy Chevy, Nitty Gritty Kitty, Boss Hoss, and Light My Firebird for J Car from the Grand Prix series in 68 on that one. The only Grand Prix in the 68 model year. Look at this original 16. Not in the best shape, but there's some neat models in there. You got the Camaro antifreeze with the green interior. You got the orange Cougar with the orange interior. You got the red Firebird with the red interior. What else could be in there? You know, I think, doesn't they make the purple silhouette Hong Kong in a purple interior? Hmm, seems like I've seen that. There's the orange fleet side. Hot Heap, 4J again, the Diora, and the custom Volkswagen, custom T-Bird. And look at that open hood scoop Mustang. You just don't find those very often, and I don't even have one in my collection because in the past when I've seen them or had them, I've sold them and shouldn't have done that. Should have kept a good one in the collection maybe someday i'll get another one there's the blue corvette too bad that doesn't have blue interior wouldn't that be cool that would be cool they didn't do a matching interior on the custom corvette not sure they must have i don't know which cars let's see they did make the custom barracuda purple with purple interior and seemed like what it was another one i can't remember was it brown with brown i don't know got the custom el dorado over there Look at that. You got a racer rig. That's kind of cool in there. And I think we covered this back row here, but let's just take one more look as we fly over the collection. And I appreciate you watching this video number 301 of me sharing what I experienced with Redline Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Johnny Lightning, and any type of toy or any type of toy experience that I have. I share it here on my channel. And I appreciate you watching and being a subscriber. I absolutely adore doing the videos because it gives me a chance to talk about the things that I love, and that is Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Johnny Lightning, and other toy cars. So thank you for joining me, and you can have a great day. I hope you have fun with your collection, and we will see you on the next video. Bye now.